That's the spirit. All right, here we are, round one, game one. Our opponent mulligans. Our deck isn't, our hand isn't doing that much anytime soon, but it probably does something eventually, and it can see mulligan, and he's going first, so I think I'll keep this and hope to draw a two or three drop, which we have a million of. We have all of them, actually. Got a lot of two and three drops. I don't know about you, but they're changing the magic clients, and uh, I'm not excited about the new one. For one thing, the sounds are crappy, and I like my classic magic online sounds. They're so. Ba -dum, ba -dum. That's not a planes. That sucks. It would have been a good, uh, good card to do a thing with. He's black, though, so he probably would have blown my dude up if I tricked him out. School Patron. Well, I don't mind the scorpion hitting me, so whatever. I don't know if I trade all my captain's calls for it, and it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. Liliana. That's artifact or creature. Damn it. Liliana of the dark, something or other. So, probably not going to draw a hasted dude. That's interesting, since I do have a sorcery and or instant. And he probably doesn't want to try to blow my guys up, and then we can trigger the trade out one of these loser dudes and finish him off. Not quite. Can affect it anyway. And... be a five he'll go to two he won't be able to kill my guy he'll have to use a actual kill card which he probably has <sighs> I don't see much choice we're not gonna do the archeo dude before doing this definitely not the two or three drop start I was hoping for especially with the way things looked at first yep find swamps bitch Blow up my dudes. That is not pleasant. Well, that changes things a little bit. Probably means I'm going to get something for one. Doesn't my deck have a lot more planes than islands? Hmm. Well, I certainly don't care about pacifying or encrusting his dude. And I'm not gonna, that doesn't make any sense. It's definitely not pleasant. <laughs> Though if you ever had a planeswalker go ultimate on you, it might as well be this one. It'd be interesting to see what happens next with my seven card hand that's all various degrees of gas with oh boy yeah so now the question is will he want to sacrifice Liliana to two for one man I'd say probably but who knows maybe he wouldn't just get a few more lands while I'm accomplishing very little but I guess I'll have to discard some. Just discard this thing, since we can't draw planes ever, and we'll have we have other double planes things we want to do. Probably. It does go nice with getting counters and stuff, it just seems like a bit of a stretch. Yeah, get rid of that one, and... I like these things. I like all these things. Yeah. 
This is nice because you can come in and hit him just from playing this and it puts him under pressure and then can be finished with this. So the uncrust seems a little bit questionable. We've got another one, I think. Planes. I'm willing it into happening, which means it might not, but it could. Why are we stopped on my upkeep? That's bizarre. Wow, that's annoying. I mean, it's okay, I guess. He's got like murder up. Less I. Pacify his loser dude and do a thing of damage. Captain's call again, but I like Captain's call after this guy. This is kind of ridiculous because you're just asking for him to kill your dude, and all you've done is gotten a dude killed. I just, no, I don't think he'd go ultimate yet, anyway. Hmm. <laughs> yes, 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 you're a funny dude. Guy with things. start playing shades or some crazy corrupt that would be awesome corrupt for a million okay this has been a really slow tedious game at least now I can probably cast stuff when his two remaining black card or his two remaining black mana doesn't do anything that horrible this turn So this can hit it for three. And then he probably kills it. Goes to one, and then I'm pretty sure I can kill it. Yeah, it's got a lot of value for that guy. Other than that, I can pacify and hit it for three. Pacify that scorpion and hit him for three. And then at least I haven't given him a good target for blowing my stuff up. I just haven't spent that much of my mana. And he's got four cards. I don't really want to give him a target for the three. I suppose if he... No, how much does that cost, the thing where you can blow up all my guys? Because that would suck. Let's see what he do. Since he's probably not drawing lands anymore. Stuff open, great. I like divination. Take him to two, but if he murders my dude, I'm in a bad place. So I think we do this this time. At least then if he murders, I still have the tricks of the trade for next time.
question is, do we want to swing with the other guys and lose a soldier? This takes him to two, which means he's outside of the danger range. But, yeah, I'm kind of screwed either way. Because if he murders that guy, well, he doesn't seem to be. Okay. Problem management. It's definitely gotten some swamps. Maybe we'll start hitting each other? No? Okay. Come on to land for a bit. It's weird. I would don't I guess maybe you wouldn't use murder in that situation. He's got something. I feel like if I can kill the thing, then it would be worth just doing divination here. Because I'm not really under the immediate pressure. Okay, he's going to blow horrible things up. Or everything. to one. Now he's got a bit less destructive crap in his hand, which is good. We'll leave a planes in case he plays uh, rats or something. He's always got something. Okay. Well, do we want to be pushing this envelope? There's no reason to play this guy ahead of time. Three one unblockable. That seems really horrible. I'd rather have the unblockable on him. That at least he has to probably murder it or something. So I think we try to kill it with my dude and his three cards. Thank you, Jesus. Here I want a divination, but I don't want to get mind rotted twice. Who's gonna mind rot twice though? We can always drop the tricks of the trade if it comes down to that. Oh yeah, we get to draw cards. Yeah, that's anti-mind rot right there. My brain is working at high speed. High speed, okay. So now the game continues. What happens? Do I get messed up by something crazy? You really like, you wonderful. Oh, the guy that beat me won the whole tournament. Good for you, man. I must now continue playing the game I'm in. Okay, so we got a lot of choices. Choices are good.
Oh shit, did that in the right order, didn't I? Okay, pay attention to your stupid cards. Dumbass. <laughs> I, either of those cards would have benefited. something <laughs> it's the all land deck Good to be aware of it. Now we know what is coming for you. Unblockable seven or something, or can I just kill him now? Probably. Uh, let's see, so we go. Shouldn't have used that white. <laughs> anyway, there are some mistakes to be made for sure. Oof. That's how you beat uncontrollable mana flood. And he like wrecked his entire deck getting all of the mana out of it and he still flooded like crazy. That was a stupid game. <laughs> okay, so... He's got some red removal. He's got things to get rid of my instants and sorceries that I have to be aware of. So I don't want to leave him in my hand. Um, that doesn't help that much. Well, I mean, it does a little bit. He was doing a lot of annoying um, direct damage spells. Other than that, he wasn't that threatening. This is a nice response to a damage spell, too, but he's black, so even though he is red, I'd be concerned about his... Uh, Thing is minus one countering 